I have officially lost 110 pounds on my overall weight loss journey. Whoa, I don't even care. I just want to eat food. <laughs> but I did. And on this fast, I lost a total of three ish pounds in over three pounds in two, just under two days because I'll be breaking my fast now. I think I've done what I needed to do. I feel like the fast serves its purpose, but I will be jumping into these fasts more frequently now to heal. So I'm super stoked for that. I weighed in at 172.2 pounds after finishing my fast, which I haven't finished yet because I'm gonna be doing with you guys on camera. 45 hours into my fast, that's where we're at. Just shy of two days, I lost about 2.6 pounds. No, 3.6 pounds. If I did the math correctly, 3.6 pounds, I'm smart. So right now I'm watching Molly Mae hug and her little baby. She had a baby young. She had a baby at like 22. Good for her. She made her money, found the love of her life. They aren't married. She's married or married to Tommy Fury, Tyson Fury's little brother. So yeah, um, I'm gonna watch her and break my fast with you guys right now. We're gonna go with something a little healthier because my body is currently detoxing like crazy. Just detoxing, just with the massages, this thing in my, my chest. But yeah, we're gonna go with something a little healthier today. So let's bon appetit. This is a kale salad, by the way. Fast broken at 45 hours and 28 minutes. All right. Here it is, I have some clams and underneath that is the kale salad. And then I have some air fried fries. Honestly guys, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but I did not end with the dry fast because I know dry fasting has a different fasting protocol. When you end it, I ended up with a water fast, but I'll figure it out. All right, my next meal is a oat milk bar from the organic store. It's USDA certified organic, I'm trying to go clean, but whatever. Chocolate's good for you. And um, some almond butter, that's also organic. I'm gonna show you guys some before and after pictures of my dry fast results because I always come with receipts. I'm always transparent, that's what I'm trying to say. You'll see me in my bra and my underwear. That's how you see full transparency with the body change. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys because I produce real results, not exaggerated results. But before I do, I must do a disclaimer. Guys, dry fasting is a very extreme fasting protocol. It's not something you just jump into. I'm still learning about dry fasting. And mind you guys, I have a coach coaching me through this dry fasting journey, Cole Robinson. Dry fasting is a high level fast because it takes a special protocol to break out of the fast, which I did not explain in the video. I broke my dry fast at about 37 hours for this dry fast. I did back to back dry fasts, more on that later. And basically I broke it because I misunderstood something Cole Robinson said. I was going for a bunch of appointments, massage appointments and appointments for my neck. And he said, well, if you're gonna do all that stuff for your body, you are going to need to drink water to flush out all the toxins. So I'm like, okay, I did. And then he sends me a voice message and he's like, oh, I didn't mean to break the fast. Well, it was a big misunderstanding, whatever. I broke the dry fast then and then I water fast up to 45 hours, but I got the max effect of the dry fast and it was absolutely amazing. So with a dry fast, you don't break it with food. You have to hydrate yourself. There is a process. You hydrate yourself with baking soda and water, and then you just drink water, get salt in, and then I like to hydrate myself with coconut water because coconut water is full of electrolytes. So keep that in mind. Here are my results for the dry fast. As you can see, this is day one versus day two. This is my back shot. You can see here, I don't know, there is a difference, I guess. I don't see, uh, someone said my legs are tighter. Yes, you can see that my legs are tighter in the shot and my skin is definitely improving. I've seen such improvements on my skin. I have hyperpigmentation, meaning that when I like get a cut, I scar very easily. It's so annoying. It takes my body like a year or two to get rid of scars. So it goes a little darker on my skin. 
I noticed I have a few on my back from all the like treatment I've gotten, all the creams I put on my back to help with the muscle pain and my neck. And I noticed they were starting to get lighter in color after the dry fast. Dry fast is very healing on the skin. Next photo is this side shot. You can see again a difference in my legs. Legs are the major difference here. And you can see some muscle peaking in my shoulder. And my core is leaner, as you can tell. Yep, my core leaned out. So there's the difference in that photo. And the major difference is with this photo, the front photo. Look at my core. Mind you guys, I suck in my abs for every picture. So I'm flexing in every picture. I'm flexing in that before, before picture and I'm definitely flexing in that after picture, as you can see, and holy crap, my core is coming through. Like I can literally get a six pack with dry fasting. So after I broke that dry fast, I actually ate a little more calories than I wanted to. I ate 2,200 calories or 2,100 calories, but it was okay, the scale didn't even do much the next day. I told Cole Robinson, he told me to jump right back in to another dry fast. So that I did, and you'll see the results for that dry fast in the next video. I'm so excited to share that one with you guys because I hit a goal weight that I had in mind or a goal weight range that I had in mind just in time for my birthday. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. Just drop in a bunch of birthday cakes because it was my birthday yesterday or two days ago and now it's Mother's Day. And I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.